गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन और टूडे वी विल डिस्कस मेरे टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिकल ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो इन डॉक्टर डॉक्टर So this will satisfy this condition. Two plus four plus six up to last term is two n. So that must be equal to at the last n n plus one. So it satisfies the formula. Then how will you will you prove about this? So number of terms that is a natural term that you want to prove is left side is equal to right side. But if you take one by one all the values in place of n, so it will be too much hectic. So to overcome this type of problem. So again, value we go with the dominance effect. So that means you have to first uh, take the first term to prove the formula, then sec second term, then so on. Now, what is dominance effect that we want to check? Look at this. There are number of piles are there. So here in this dominance effect is you, your first thing is you have to uh, fall down uh, a particular uh, dom particular slide. So goal is to all the dominoes will be fall so in that case your condition one when the first domino falls it will hit the second one automatically so each domino will hit the sec next one and each domino that is hit will fall so immediately if one is fall another is also fall so here we use induction in this this same case also like in condition one that is base one so here in condition one means first you have to go with n is equal to one in place of n so p means propositional statement so that's why we call that left side equation is called as propositional statement so in this first you prove with n is equal to one if left side is left hand side is equal to right hand side then go for another inte any integer like k so in place of n you replace k and after that that is your assumption then you go with n is equal to k plus 1 so in this first condition you have to fill for 2 for n is equal to 1 second case is inductive case when you replace n with k so here in p and 2 uh, you have to prove for n is equal to k plus 1 further so that what we assume in this n is equal to k and you have to prove that is uh, p k plus 1 to be true so that we call it our inductive hypothesis so in this case so that we call it inductive hypothesis plus 2 n if this is my statement so very first step i have to check left side right side for p is equal to 1 so now we have to very first step we check p is equal to 1 okay if we put n is equal to 1 okay so if we put n is equal to 1 we'll check first left hand side so nth term we have to need to pick only nth term so that is 2n is equal to 2 into 1 is equal to 2 now if we check for the right hand side that is n square plus n that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 if both are same left hand side is equal to right hand side if both terms are same, that means my this polynomial equation is true for p1, n is equal to 1. So, we can say that which is true for p1. Okay, now in the second step. Second step is, if it is true for n is equal to 1, then we consider that, we assume that, we assume that. If my in place of k if we substitute in place of n if we substitute k so then it will be also be true that we assume okay so if we assume that so my this equation total equation becomes 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2k in place of n you replace k so k square plus k where k is any integer you have to mention uh, we can directly set k belongs to integer.
so it will be more easier instead of writing the statement again and again. So this is my second step. So we consider this as my first equation. Now my third step. So very first thing in this step, if you are suppose in your in uh, any series, if this first step is not satisfied with left and then right hand side, then no need to go further with second step and third step. You can directly write mathematical induction is not possible in that case. So if for p k plus 1, if we want to prove for p k plus 1, so what the condition will be? In place of n, you will replace k plus 1. So that is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 k plus 1 and here k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1. So both left side and right side you will replace in place of n is equal to k plus 1. Now you have to prove this left hand side must be equal to right hand side. Suppose first I will pick here right hand side. If I pick right hand side I just open it k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1. Okay. So if I open this k square plus 1 plus 2k plus k plus 1 and my answer will be <coughs> k square plus 3k plus 2. <coughs> that is my right hand side. Now I go for authentication for the left hand side. So I pick this whole term 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2k plus 1. So obviously if this term is k plus 1 so its previous term will be in place of this it will be k. So that means second last term will be that is 2k that's why next term will be 2k plus 1. So in this look at this that we already found in our equation 1. So this whole series is equal to k square plus k <coughs> that we already found. So we replace this k square plus k and we open this one 2k plus 2. So that is k square plus 3k plus 2. So in this case if my left hand side is equal to right hand side. So we can say that pk plus 1 is also true by principle of mathematical induction. First I will pick this term separately. 3x plus 6x plus 9x plus up to n terms. If I take x common. This is 3 plus 6 plus 9 up to n terms. So I am not going to add the terms. I just because I picked this only left side to find this nth term. So I will write this series as 3, 6, 9, n terms. Because I am not going to find the sum of n terms. Because I have to find the only last term of this series. So in that case we have to convert this positive into comma like 3, 6, 9. Term is only for the series 3, 6, 9. Okay. So x was already outside. So when you arrange back in your x term. So this will be 3nx is equal to 3 by 2 n and plus 1 and x is also there in our right side. So now my series is prepared well nth term is there and right side my formula is there that represent of this series now i want to prove this by mathematical induction okay now very first step we check now if my this equation is true for n is equal to 1 so we assume that it will be true for it is true for pk so let pk be true that is my second step now you have to replace n with k so 3x plus 6x plus 9x up to 3kx and here also in the right side in place of n we replace with k k plus 1 and x now further now we have to check with left side and right side but before that we have to mark this as equation 1 and for in the third step if because we assume that if it's true for 1, so it is already true for pk that we assume. Now we have to prove whether it is true for in place of n we replace k plus 1. So for pk plus 1 what we have to do it will be it will be what it will be the equation. 
in place of n you have to replace k plus 1 6 and my right side term is 3 by 2 k plus 1 in place of n you have to just replace k plus 1 so that will be become my right hand side now one by one I will check with left side or right side now first I will pick right hand side so that is 3 by 2 k plus 1 and k plus 1 plus 1 become k plus 2 and x ok either I can open further or either I can leave as it is sometime it happen so that exact equation not prepared in the left hand side so we have to solve this as further so 3 by 2 k square plus 2 k plus k plus 2 so in that case my equation will be 3 by 2 k square plus 3 k plus 2 x now we have to check for left hand side so that is 3x plus 6x and my last term will be 3k plus 1x if my last term is 3k plus 1x so what will be the previous term second last term will be 3k and x according to our condition so if you look at only this case that is exactly my equation 1 x plus 6x plus 9x plus 3kx is equal to 3 by 2k k plus 1x so that is my equation 1 so that means in place of this you have to replace 3 by 2k k plus 1 so that is 3 by 2k uh, and k plus 1 and x and this term we write as it is 3k plus 1 and x Okay, now if you look at this, if we take 3k plus 1x and 3k plus 1x separately, so 3k plus 1x, if I take it common in both the terms, so it what it will be left? k by 2 and here it will be left plus 1. So now if I take the LCM, 3k plus 1 x k plus 2 by 2 so that is 3 by 2 k plus 1 k plus 2 x so 3 by 2 k plus 1 k plus 2 x either you can stop at that point that we already here but sometime it happen that exactly equation does not come ok so in that case whatever you go with here you have to solve it here so if I solve further this 3 by 2 so that give me my same equation k square plus 3k plus 2x so that means my this equation is exactly equal to right hand side that means the result is true for result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so hence by induction method induction method P and is true for any integer value of n. For all n belongs to n. Thank you.